So in this theorem, it's been given that a transversal intersects two parallel lines. Then uh, we have to prove that each pair of consecutive interior angles are supplementary. Just a quick recap, what are supplementary angles, guys? Supplementary angles are angles which sum up to 180 degrees. You know that, right? Now, what are transversal? You know the meaning of transversal. Intersects two parallel lines. So in this case, MN is the transversal intersecting AB and PQ. So let's write, given is AB parallel to PQ. And MN, MN is a transversal. MN is a transversal. Okay. To prove, what do we need to prove? Then each pair, each pair of consecutive interior angles. Okay. So each pair of consecutive interior angles, which all are consecutive interior angles. So we have to prove that one angle three plus angle six is 180 degrees complementary. And two angle four plus angle five is equal to 180 degrees okay so let's see how to prove so proof will be something like that okay what uh, so angle 3 plus angle 6 now we know see um, angle 3 is equal to angle 7 okay and you can write this is because they are corresponding angles corresponding angles okay and angle 6 plus angle 7 is 180 degrees if you look closely these are nothing but linear pair linear pair isn't it 6 plus 7 is 180 degrees so you can say from 1 and 2 you can say from 1 and 2 what can I say I can replace 7 by 6, so hence I can say uh, 7 by act actually angle 3. So this angle 3 can come here. And you can say angle 6 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. So first one is proved. This point is proved. Very simple proof. Now for the next pair again, what can you say? You can say similarly, angle, similarly you can write, similarly. Angle 4 or uh, angle 1 is equal to angle 5. Why? Corresponding angles again. Corresponding. Corresponding angles. This is number 3, let's say. Okay. And angle. Angle. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, what? Angle 1 is equal to angle 5. And we know that angle 1 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Again, this is 4 and the reason being a linear pair. Linear pair, right? So now done from, from 3 and 4, we can say angle 5 plus angle 4 is 180 degrees. And this is the second proof. Hence, proved. Correct? So hence we saw, we saw that. The interior pair of in, uh, consecutive interior angles are supplementary, right? A pair of consecutive interior angles are supplementary. So 4 plus 5 is 180 and 3 plus 6 is 180. Fair enough. Now let's go to the converse of this. Now the converse statement is something like that. If a transversal inter intersects two lines in such a way that a pair of consecutive interior angles are supplementary, then the two lines are parallel. So hence, you can start the proof by saying given. What's given, guys? So given is chorus, you know, consecutive interior angles are supplementary. This is given. That means let's say angle three plus angle six is 180 degrees. Angle three plus angle six is 180 degrees. Okay. To prove, you can also take four and five. doesn't really matter. The proof will be similar to prove AB is parallel to PQ. In the previous theorem, AB was given to be equal to PQ and we had to prove that angle 3 plus 6 is 180, 180 degrees. So in this theorem, it is the other way around. Angle 3 plus 6 is given as 180 degrees. Prove that AB is parallel to PQ. Okay, let's see how to prove this. So 
we'll again use the theorems which we have learnt before. So angle 3 plus angle 6 is 180 degrees and you write this as 1 and it's given. Okay. Similarly, angle 2 plus angle 3 is 180 degrees. Why? Clearly it is because of linear pair. So hence if you equate both of them 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 you can say angle 3 plus 6 is angle 2 plus angle 3 so 3 3 goes so hence angle 2 is equal to angle 6 right but then angle 2 is angle equal to is 6 but what are 2 and 6 guys if you see 2 and 6 are corresponding angles so hence by converse of converse of corresponding converse of corresponding angles right a b is parallel to p q hence proved because converse of axiom corresponding angles axiom said which is um, axiom says that if corresponding angles are equal then the lines are parallel so hence proved so hence the converse of the given theorem is also proved 